is part of my 12 cookies of Christmas series 2023 where I explore the Christmas cookies of 12 different European countries. In today's video, I'm sharing with you a Portuguese Christmas cookie called Broj de Natal. These are a sweet potato cookie made with candied sweet potato, orange, cinnamon, and fennel, and they're mixed with semolina and then baked. They're very interesting and unique, and I can't wait to share these with you. So join me today as I share with you the recipe and stick with me to the very end where I will give you a sneak peek of tomorrow's video. Let's get started. First begin by boiling 450 grams or one pound of sweet potato with the skin still on. Boil that until you can easily pierce a fork all the way through. Then remove it from the water and remove the skins when it is cool enough to touch. You're going to reserve 140 milliliters or two thirds of a cup of the sweet potato water and combine that with 380 grams or a scant two cups of sugar. Stir to dissolve and then using a candy thermometer, boil it until it reaches 108 degrees Celsius or 226 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the thread stage of candy development. While the sugar syrup is coming up to temperature, puree the skinned sweet potato in a food processor. And once you've reached 108 degrees Celsius or 226 degrees Fahrenheit, then turn off the heat and add your pu pureed sweet potato. I transferred mine to a bigger pot because this one was too small. Whisk the sweet potato into the sugar syrup and then turn the heat to low and cook that while stirring constantly for about 10 to 15 minutes. You'll know it's done when you can see the bottom of the pan and a thick paste has formed. Then you're going to remove it from the heat and set it aside while you mix together your other ingredients. These cookies are a variation on the cookies called Broa Costelar, which are usually made with cornmeal and almond flour. I found the variation I'm making from a Portuguese cookbook and I picked this one because I was so intrigued by the step to candy the sweet potato. In researching Broa Costelar, it appears that its origins are unknown, but it likely descended from a class of sweets called Dosaria Conventual, or conventual sweets meaning sweets that originated from the convents and monasteries of Portugal. As the monastic communities have a long-standing tradition in Portugal of producing food, especially sweets and selling them to the local communities. These are enjoyed in the Lisbon and Tagus Valley region of Portugal, and they were popularized by the Castellar brothers that owned a bakery in Lisbon in the 1860s. Now whisk together 340 grams or two cups of semolina with half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of ground fennel, a pinch of salt, and then the zest of one lemon. Then you're going to pour in the candied sweet potato and stir that all together until you have a thick cohesive dough. Now you're going to cover the bowl with plastic wrap and let it sit out at room temperature for at least 12 hours. I left mine overnight and that is going to help the semolina to absorb some of the moisture from that sweet potato. And then you're going to take a tablespoon and roll the dough between your hands and form elliptical type shapes um, and then place that on a parchment lined baking sheet. If you're enjoying this video and have learned something, hit that like button and consider subscribing. I make a recipe from a different European country every single week. Then you're going to whisk together two egg yolks with a splash of milk and brush that onto the cookies and this will give them a beautiful golden color after baking. Bake them in a 425 degree Fahrenheit or 220 degrees Celsius preheated oven for 10 to 12 minutes or until golden on top. Then place them on a cooling rack and let them fully cool before serving. I thought 
these were really uniquely made canning that sweet potato and then letting it sit overnight so that the semolina could absorb all of the moisture. I'm really excited to give these a try. Wow. They taste very much like sweet potato, which of course is to be expected, but sometimes when you bake with something, it doesn't always have a very strong flavor of the thing you're making it with, but that sweet potato really comes through. I like sweet potato, so that's a very good flavor for me. But if you don't like sweet potato, definitely don't make these cookies because it's a very prominent flavor. And they're also very sweet. And I could kind of tell that these cookies were going to be very sweet because when I was making the candied sweet potato, I tasted a little bit of it. And it was kind of a sickly sweet taste. But once all the ingredients are mixed together, that's actually very nice. I like, I like the degree of sweetness that it has. They have a firm texture, but they're soft in the middle. I like that. These are really good and very unique. I've never had anything quite like this before. Make sure to hit that notification bell on the subscribe button so you don't miss any other cookies in the series. And I will put the playlist to the series at the end in case there are any videos that you haven't seen yet and that you'd like to catch up on. And I will see you tomorrow, but until then, check out this sneak peek of tomorrow's video, and I'll see you then.